Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we did a whole bunch of shrine-related garbage. This time, uh, off-screen, I got three more heart containers, and I figured I'd show getting the last one just so that you guys know, hey, this is what I did. But before we do that, I think I maxed out on stamina, but I really want to see what happens when I try to upgrade it again. Your being overflows with vigor. There is no need to increase your stamina wheel further. Oh, so it just forces you to take the heart container. Okay, that makes sense. So we're going to grab the last one of those that we can get for right now. I had a stockpile of 16 spirit orbs. Coincidentally, just happened to leave off last time on a multiple of four, which is nice. And you'll also notice I am back on the Great Plateau. And I just figured, you know, I was going to go back to Kakariko and I'm like, well, that's like my go-to. I always go there. It's weird seeing this place again. In the scope of what I've done here. Is that a black Lionel? Holy shit. Oh no, it's not. It's a it's a stripey boy. Good. <laughs> I was about to say, I am not going to try to do that. I'm still not going to try and fight him, but anyway. I should probably talk about what we're doing in this episode. But wow, yeah, it is it's weird to be back here. I remember first recording, like, the first episode of this game. And being completely terrified that I had done something wrong or, like... Well, I mean, it was kind of terrifying because I died in the first episode when I was like, oh, I'm going to make this a, a no-death run. Yeah, okay, buddy. It's it's the fucking... It's master mode. You can't do that. I just swore in the first minute of the video. God damn it. Um, anyway, this time... Let's, let's cool off. We're good. This time, I've actually got two things for sure planned. Maybe three, depending on, you know, the timing and, and how much I suck. But, um... You can see I've got some stuff planned out already, but before we get to any of these, these are shrines that I may or may not do. Before we do anything, let's talk about memories for a minute. We only have a few left. I think we have like four or five left, maybe four total or five. To I I'm not sure how many exact. Well, actually, I can count. What am I, what am I saying? One, two, three, four. And then there's an extra one that you get after you get all of the ones that are lifted, li lifted, <laughs> listed here. And I don't know how that works yet because I haven't done that before. Reason I haven't done that before is because I have never gotten this memory before. I have never seen this memory. Well, maybe I've seen a cutscene of it, like, recorded somewhere. But I don't know where this is. And that's the first thing we're going to do in this episode. I am going to try to piece together where the hell this thing is. Now, normally... I kind of do this off screen. I figure out where something is and then I just come in and I'm ready to do it when the episode starts. Um, and I, I kind of did a little bit of that. So what I've determined is obviously it's a wooded area, as you could see from the picture before. I probably should have kept it up while I was still talking about it. But you know what? That would be too professional and we don't do professionalism here. So it's a wooded area. And it looks like it kind of has a path running through it. I might be reading too much. Actually, let's let's look at that real quick. That kind of looks like a path to me, but I don't think the game is going to consider it a path because it's too grassy, right? So here's what I'm thinking. Here's where I think this thing might be. It's either right at the very beginning of the Faron region. Now this area here, I believe, is all forest. This area is jungle. So it could be here. It could also, if I'm remembering right... Where am I thinking of? Oh, you know what? I was thinking it might be over here, but we've been through here at the beginning of the game, so it's not going to be there. It could also be... I guess it could be in this area somewhere, but I don't see water in that picture, so that's why I'm thinking maybe it isn't there. Uh, and did I already say here? Although, no, there was already a memory there, wasn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is start from my first guess. Because I actually seem to recall going through a foresty area and running right past a memory. So I'm going to meet you guys at this shrine. We're going to run through there, see if it's there. If it isn't, we'll go to the next one. I really hope that doesn't screw anything up. I literally just punched my desk by accident while we were in that transition. Hopefully it was before things started to fade in so that I don't have to change anything, but... Fucking hell, my knuckle hurts now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So let's head east first. Oh my god, what the f- Oh, you asshole. You, you hit my Sheikah horse. What the hell is wrong with you? Where- 
Oh, yeah, that, you hit the Sheikah horse because you don't like Sheikah. That, that makes sense, actually. Okay, shoot him in the head. And my horse just kicked me. We're having a good day. We're having a good start. Okay. Anyway, apart from just smashing the shit out of my knuckle. Yeah, you know what? It wouldn't be over here. I guess it could maybe be over here. But now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it isn't because these big trees... I don't think are in that picture. Yeah, that rock formation I saw off to the side there, I thought that was one of those big fat trees that I'm looking at right now. But it's a rock, so it, it, it's not this. So it might be back over on the other side, uh, east of where we started. I think I said we were going east at the beginning. I was wrong. We're going west. Now we're going east. Um, so something else I wanted to talk about while we're doing this, because I, I figured this is a good time to kind of just talk about off-topic stuff. Uh, not stuff about the game, because I'm usually just going on and on about the game. This is what I mean. This, this here. You see how it's not really a path? That's kind of what it looks like in the picture, but I also don't see any water in the picture, so eh. And it's not over here. We're getting too far into the Farron region for it to be over here, because past this point, it's jungle. This is one of the shrines we're actually maybe doing this episode. I forgot I talked to Cass here before, and there's just a shrine basically waiting for us to grab it. And I never did it, because, you know, I, I, I just, I can't sometimes. My planning skills are just not there. We're way too far over from where this thing could potentially be, so I'm gonna go to the next point that this thing could be. Now, I think I said over here, but I don't think it's over here either. We'll check. We're, we're, we're gonna check all points be- Oh? The horse moved a bit before I started transitioning. I'll meet you guys over there. Now, I'd like to also introduce you to the musical stylings, and I'm gonna bring this up, and it's probably gonna change as soon as I finish talking. Uh, let's get rid of- no. No. There we go. Let's get rid of that situation so I don't die. Uh, where are we looking at? Okay, we're looking at northwest of here. Yeah, as soon as I was about to bring this up, it stopped. My cat was going apeshit on her litter box. To the point where I'm pretty sure I, I could see it on the waveform. So if you guys could hear that before, I apologize. Because it was throwing off my commentary. And right when we were about to warp, she started, like, going really loud. So if that's why my that's why my commentary seemed kind of weird before we cut there. Uh, the thing I wanted to bring up... This area looks promising, but I think we were just here recently. Um, the thing I wanted to bring up is that I got a comment on the last video that went up, basically asking how long does this series, uh, seem like it has left in it, kind of thing. And I did sort of bring that up in a video previously, I forget if it was the last one or the one before, but we are getting very, very close to the end. We have the four memories that I showed on the menu before, plus, why am I walking? Thank you. Uh, the four memories that I showed before, plus the one that you get after sort of finding the rest of them. And then in terms of shrines, we only have, I think, like, ten or so left? Maybe less, maybe a little more. It says on the loading screen. What I'll do is on the next loading screen, I'll talk over it so that you guys can see, uh, how many shrines we've actually got. I don't see it here either. Although this does, you know what, actually... This does look a lot like the picture. Let me look at that real quick. It does look similar, doesn't it? It really does. Okay, maybe it, well... Yeah, but this path has water all over it. And I didn't see any water in the picture unless it just showed an area that didn't have water. Yeah, maybe it isn't here. You know what, this area does look a little too rocky compared to the picture. Although that does look pretty rocky too, doesn't it? Huh. But it doesn't have any big trees over... stretching over the path, so... Eh... Uh, I'm thinking maybe this isn't it. Unless there's another wider area, like up here. Yeah, it could be in somewhere like here. And I'm, I'm just remembering, there's a radio near where I'm recording and I forgot to turn it down. So if you're hearing voices in the background, uh, it's it's not you going completely apeshit, it's, it's me. So I'm sorry. 
I, I'm realizing this whole recording session just kind of... <laughs> I'm starting with something I have absolutely no idea about. I thought this would be cool to do. And I don't know, you, you guys are going to have to tell me how, how you're liking this. But I'm... Hello. Look at that. Just a little extra thing. Uh, by the way, speaking of what we have left to do in the game, I'm going to make this very clear in no uncertain terms right now. I am not doing the Korok seeds. I am not that insane. I'm not that rude to myself. Um, so where should we check now? I, I guess it... See, the thing is, I'm, I'm thinking it could be here, right? Because the bottomless swamp is right nearby, and they're usually near... Um, the, the memories are usually near something of note. Some geographical feature of note. Except for this one. This one really wasn't near anything. But usually, if my memory serves, they are. So... I'm thinking I might look over. There's a shrine right here anyway. It's not going to take long to comb this area. So let's try over here. And I'm not going to cut on the fade out because I want you guys to see how many shrines we have done. So give this a minute. Give it a sec. Okay, we have 108 shrines done. So that means we're 12 shrines off from being done everything we need to do. Because I believe there's 120. I don't think it's like Super Mario 64 where there's 121. Just a a not even number just to piss you off kind of thing. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of regretting doing this now because I feel like my commentary is starting to, it's starting to show that I really, I'm not bad at trying to talk when there's nothing to talk about, but like, it, it's not my forte yet. And I guess maybe doing stuff like this will help that, sort of. I mean, at first it'll be kind of awkward, but then sort of as I get better at it, it'll be, you know, somewhat more bearable. And I feel like I'm taking longer pauses between my words. I'm just, you know what it is? I'm just really self-conscious. I just need to tell the voice in the back of my head that I'm, that I'm doing this and I don't care what it says. <laughs> you know, because you have that nagging voice that's like, oh, you're trying something new, you're not good at it, so, you know, what's the point kind of thing? In anything, you got to tell that voice to shut up and just do what you were going to do anyway. There's no excuse. Just do the thing. There, do the thing. There's there's no reason not to. Welcome to life advice. <laughs> okay, so I don't think there's anything in that forest. There might be over there. You know what? Actually, looking at that. Hold on. Can I zoom in? Yeah. There is a little path over there. It's not marked on the map, but there is a path. I'm going to check it. I, I. You know what? There's no reason not to. We're here anyway. And if it happens to work out, well, then I'm a godgamer.com. Yeah, that looks really promising. You know, I think this is it. Because there's, there's a rock formation there. And this branch is hanging over here. This has got to be it. it. It looks right. Please tell me you're here. Oh my god. Please don't ruin this moment for me. Where where are the rest of you? There's always more than one. Oh, they're back there. Good. Oh my god. I I I swear I did not look anything up. This feels really good to have accomplished. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna watch a cutscene, and then we're at 14 minutes. We'll do one shrine. Maybe two. One for sure. Actually, the one that I'm thinking of doing is just grabbing a, uh, it's a blessing shrine. So it'll just be activating the shrine and then I'll probably end the episode there. Yeah, we'll do that. My cat is looking at my desk. He's going to jump up. Oh, God. I enjoy this while I maybe have a cat destroy my setup. Ganon. It turned them all against us. And 
everyone. Mifa, Verbosa, Rivali, and Daruk. They're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything. Everything I've done up until now. It was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends. The entire kingdom. My father, most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. Wow. Okay. No, I have never seen that one. There's the part where Zelda starts wailing that's in, I think, the trailer. One of the original trailers for this game. Actually, maybe it, was, it probably wasn't even a launch trailer. It was one of, like, the, the teaser trailers from before the game launched. I saw that scene, but I had no idea it was from that. That's That was a heavy shit, man. A heavy shit. That was heavy shit, is what I meant to say, but now I've just ruined all... <laughs> I've ruined all significance to all of that. Where am I going right now? I just, I, I felt compelled to start moving while I spoke, but... I think that's a pretty cool view of Death Mountain, I guess. There's that. Okay, so what we're going to do... Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm debating which one of these to do. For sure we don't have time for this one. Do I have time to make it to this one, though? Actually, yeah, I have to get to either one that I choose, so it's going to take a minute anyway. So you know what? We're going to get this one. This one is a blessing, so kind of not a lot of progress this episode, but we'll grab that and possibly end the episode there. I'll meet you guys over at the shrine. So going back to my train of thought, like, probably ten minutes ago, how much longer is this series going to be? The proper answer is I really don't know. Uh, because I've never done a series this big before. Actually, this is the first series that- why am I going this way? This is the first series that I'm doing to completion. Now, I- I don't really count that big the cat thing that I did. Um, that was just something I felt like I wanted to record, so I did. It- it, it was- it was nothing more than that. Um, this is the first, first series, I think, in terms of what I would consider fully done. So, not that it's fully done yet. So, realistically, I can't really say how long is left, but I'm gonna say, as an estimate, probably under 10 episodes are left. And one of those episodes, I'm gonna give fair warning right now. What are you doing, buddy? It's it's like a it's like a foot. You can't. Okay. I'm not staying here to to deal with that whiz robe. You can you can have fun with that. Oh, dear Jesus. Okay, nope. Mm-mm. Not doing that. Not having anything to do with that. Oh, good lord. Please tell me that was the Chew Shoes and not the Wiz Rope. Cool. Good. Um... What was I saying? <laughs> this entire series can be summed up in train of thought, something happens... Okay, what was I saying? No, um... So, I I'm, I'm gonna guess less than ten. One of the episodes that's gonna happen, fair warning right now, is there's a shrine that requires you to stand on a pedestal during a blood moon. And there is no way to control when a blood moon happens. So one episode, and I'm not going to just record the entire time waiting for it to happen, but one episode is going to be probably just waiting for that shrine to be accessible. Um, I need to probably place my travel medallion near where this shrine is, so that when the blood moon happens, we can just go over to it, activate it, and that's it. Because I believe it's a test of strength shrine, if I'm remembering correctly. So our destination... I should have explained this. <laughs> I, sh I should... Let's back up a minute. Let's, let's go back to the beginning of this episode and pretend I'm giving this spiel now, okay? So, we got a quest from Cass a very long time ago. I, I actually alluded to it earlier in this episode. Uh... Where Cass is like, hey, 
I, I know a song about this place. You, you want to hear it? No? Okay. Well, we're going to do it anyway. And this is the song. Well, it's part of the song. Or is it the whole thing? No, yeah, it's just the whole thing because it's normally two lines. So, where the forest dragon splays its jaws, a shrine sleeps with noble cause. Now, when I read this the first time in my playthrough, I didn't realize that, oh, yeah, Dracozu Lake, Dracozu River, it's a, it's a dragon and it's open in its mouth and there's a thing in here. And actually, this thing looks like a dragon to begin with. So, you know, it's pretty obvious if you look at it that way. I thought I had to shoot the shit out of... <laughs> out of poor Farosh, so I came over here and I literally just shot at Farosh, probably. Like, I, I would wait until nighttime or whenever it is that it starts to fly over there. And, uh, it just did that repeatedly and nothing was happening, so I was getting kind of pissed off, didn't know what the, what the deal was. But no, you actually just have to come in here. Uh, do I have to? I don't want to. But I feel like I haven't shown me killing any enemies at all in this playthrough. So you know what, let's... Let's do a thing. Uh, let's grab this, because I'm impatient. And let's just go to town on this guy. What are you doing? You gonna do that thing where you just flail it wildly? Nope, okay, cool. This will actually probably be the end of this fight. And... Actually, no, wow. And... gone. This brings me to something I've wanted to talk about for a while. I just said it feels like I never fight anything in this game. And there's a reason for that. To me, in Master Mode, because everything has... I'm not sure if in Master Mode everything has more health, or it's just it might just be scaled higher than it normally is. Um, in terms of, like, the color that they are. So, for example, red moblins are the weakest, blue are the second weakest. And I think it's like black after that, and then the silver, and then gold in master mode. You have done well to find this spring. Off of Ferocious Scale received from the Golden Spirit to the Spring of Courage. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Thankfully, not that I was planning ahead for this, but thankfully, we, if I can find it in my inventory, have Ferocious Scale already. So we can just Plop! And that activates the shrine. That's all you have to do for this. I don't know why I waited so long to do this, but whatever. Here we are. Um, anyway, as I was saying before, everything's kind of scaled up. It feels like your weapons don't do as much damage necessarily. And enemies regain health, which makes things take way longer than they have to. That's the reason I haven't done much combat in this playthrough, because I feel like just standing there wailing on an enemy for god knows how long is not that fun. When it's a boss, it's entertaining, because it's a new thing, like Wind Blight Ganon, Fire Blight Ganon, Thunder Blight Ganon, they all have different sort of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gimmicks. Whereas normal enemies, it's just dodge, hit, dodge, hit, heal, dodge, hit, repeat, done. So I feel like it doesn't add much to the playthrough. There's a lot more interesting stuff to see in this game than just me sitting there doing this for like, you know, two minutes at a time for an enemy that has enough health. Which is why I'm kind of thinking about skipping the Lionels in Hyrule Castle. I kind of alluded to that already before. I would still like feedback on that, but I am going to make an executive call sooner or later on it if there's no strong feelings one way or the other. Anyway, we're going on 25 minutes of recording, so I am going to end this here. There wasn't a lot of progress this episode, but next time, there's a shrine here, and a shrine here, and memories that I actually know where they are off the top of my head. So, we'll actually make decent progress in the next episode. Rivali's Gale is now ready. This dude just never lets me fucking finish. He's just, he's, he's always popping up while I'm trying to speak. I'm going to stop before I start rambling because that's all this episode was. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.